and I'm really hoping that we could get justice for Tabitha because man, Brady really was a trash bag boyfriend to her. <laughs> Kristen, and today we are talking about season one of Netflix's new show, Trinkets. Trinkets is based off the 2014 young adult novel by Kirsten Smith and stars Brianna Hildebrand as Elodie, Kiana Madeira as Mo, and Quintessa Swindell as Tabitha, three high school students who form an unlikely bond when they end up in the same Shoplifters Anonymous group. If you like my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop down in the comments so we can talk about Trinkets together. Now I gotta say, one of the reasons I was super excited about Trinkets is that the creator, the original author of the novel that is being turned into the show is Kirsten Smith, who has a slew of writing credits on some incredible movies under her belt, including co-writing 10 Things I Hate About You, The House Bunny, She's the Man, Legally Blonde, just all of those movies of like the 90s and 2000s that were led by strong, powerful, and really funny women. So I had really high expectations going into this show that it was gonna be really epic. So did it live up to my expectations? Let's get into it. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this show was the strong female friendships that we had between Elodie Moe and Tabitha. I think, you know, they're three girls that come from three different places, but through the Shoplifters Anonymous group, we kind of get to learn a little bit more about them and how, you know, Tabitha, who's, you know, beautiful and popular and has the perfect boyfriend, doesn't actually have this perfect life that you imagine. And Moe, who kind of leads with this tough exterior, is actually like a genius and is really really self-conscious about how people perceive her, so she tries to project what she wants people to see from her onto them. And even Elodie, I feel like at the beginning of this series, she is very reserved, she's very closed off, and as the season goes on, you really get to see her kind of break out of her shell and, you know, embrace these new friendships and start actually putting effort into her appearance. I just think you can see how this friendship really helped each of these girls grow and change and become a better person. I also enjoyed that the show dealt with hot topics or just real issues that people are dealing with. So, you know, we get to see uh, people dealing with toxic relationships, their families breaking apart, um, losing family members, their sexuality, and we even get thrown kind of a little bit of a mystery or like a suspenseful moment with Brady's car and kind of just like when will the secret about Brady's car come out. And I really like seeing that all of these girls are kind of in the Shoplifters Anonymous group for a reason. Like they're kind of struggling with things in their lives that they fill the hole or the void of what they're dealing with by shoplifting. There was kind of a deeper meaning behind it. I also love that we got a cameo by Larissa Olenek who was in 10 Things I Hate About You. That was another movie co-written by Kirsten Smith so it felt fun to get that little nod to her past projects. On the other side of things, I will say that for a show about teen shoplifters, there's not that much shoplifting that goes on so I thought it would have been cool to see a little bit more of that and how it connects to the issues that are main characters are dealing with, and even maybe a little bit more of like sleight of hand, like some fun tricks when it comes to shoplifting, because I do think that that was an interesting aspect of the show and they could have tapped into that a bit more. I also think that there were some plot points in the show that they could have dived deeper into, or that they kind of dropped very quickly. Um, I think a couple of things with Tabitha were that she had this Instagram that it seemed like she was posting her real feelings there, and they never really kind of tapped deeper into that. Or, you know, with her boyfriend when they break up, he ends up posting like like a risque photo of her. You know, they never really got any resolution from that. I felt like they let him off too easily. I think with Mo, we learn about, you know, why she's in the Shoplifters Anonymous group, and it's not really what you would expect, and I feel like it also felt a little bit anticlimactic because the reason she's there has to do with her brother's friend, who we never meet her brother, we never meet his friend. So it's just a lot of telling versus showing us what went on. I thought the very beginning of the show was really strong and as we got into the last like two or three episodes I kind of felt like it was losing its steam a little bit and some of the storylines didn't really make as much sense like Sabine and Elodie going off on this tour together. You know Elodie and Sabine didn't really have a deep connection or relationship. Elodie had just started to have a crush on Sabine. We learned that she's the kind of person that's very wishy-washy 
about relationships, so why would Elodie decide to go on tour with this person that she doesn't really know very well, they barely have a relationship. It just felt kind of uh, too quick. While I did enjoy Trinkets, to me this is a show that could go either way in terms of like, should you watch this? I think if you don't have a lot going on, you're maybe in between shows right now, and you want like a quick fun binge that's centered around friendship and you know, the different issues that people are dealing with, you know, check it out. This is 10 episodes, 30 minutes each, you'll finish it in a day really, really quick. I do think that there was something missing a little bit in terms of like making this a can't miss show. And I think that kind of came into some of like the bigger plot points of the story. This was a show that the acting and the friendship was very strong, but in terms of like the storyline plot, there wasn't that much going on. Their friendship was to me the best part of the entire series. We do end on a bit of a cliffhanger, so I would be curious to see what happens now with Brady's car. You know, I don't think this show is the next like 13 Reasons Why or like Chilling Adventures of Sabrina where people are like obsessed and have to watch what's coming next, but I do think it was a solidly good teen drama. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other Netflix TV show reviews right over here and drop down in the comments so we can continue the conversation. I cannot wait to hear what you guys said about trinkets. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it'll get a season two? Let me know what you guys think. See ya!